All right, so hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Lala and if you're a returner, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you all how to make your foundation last all day. Not 30 minutes, not three hours, but all day. Okay. From morning to night, period. Okay. This will have your foundation stuck. Okay, not joking, not exaggerating, not neck. I'm about to show y'all all the steps. Now I'm gonna just show y'all what I do and what works for me. Some of these products might not work for you and that's okay. But I'm just about to show y'all and get into this. Cause we hate when we do our makeup, it looks so good. And then we come, we go out by like two hours in, your face be looking greasy, oily, you know? We hate that, mm -mm, yeah. So that's why I'm about to give y'all this foundation routine and we gonna get rid of that today. So yeah, let me show y'all what I do. Okay. So the first thing I like to do is moisturize and right here, Neutrogena Oil Free Moisturizer. On the bottle it says for combination skin. I feel like it's really good for oily skin to me because it's oil free. This is what I use. I'm trying to make sure my face is moisturized because I heard, and I don't know how true this is, this might not be true, but I heard if your skin is like too dry, it actually makes your face secrete more oil. Like if your face is dehydrated or skin, your skin is dehydrated. I don't know how true that is, but I know ever since hearing it, I just try to make sure when I do my makeup, I'm hydrated, okay? You gotta get the forehead. Okay, so let that dry down for a little bit. And then we're gonna move on to the next thing. After I hydrate my face, moisturize my face, I go in with a primer. Today I'm gonna to be using the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. You always wanna prime your face when you're putting on foundation. It just helps it last longer. And also a lot of primers give you like a smooth base to put the foundation on top of. So you're really getting like a two-in-one kind of deal. Yeah. So yeah, it comes with a little pump. I think that's so cute. <laughs> and I'm about to um, pump it out in front of my face. Okay, now that I have that rubbed all onto my face, the next thing I'm gonna do is set my primer. Now this is important because I feel like it mattifies the base. So it makes it even harder for the oil to come through the foundation. For my setting powder for today, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And I'm gonna be using the color Deep or Medium Deep. Or I might make some or something like that, but I'm gonna either be using Deep or Medium Deep. All right, y'all, so when I set my face, I like to go in with a damp beauty blender. All right, and I wait, I wait just like a few minutes or whatever. And once I feel like I'm satisfied, I just go ahead and dust it all off. Okay, so after I set my primer on my face, it's time to go in with the foundation. Today, for my foundation, I'm gonna be using the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick. And this is gonna be in the color Hazelnut. I'm just gonna put that all over my face. I'm sorry, this is gonna be in the color Black Walnut. Okay, so once I have the foundation everywhere I wanna have it, I then take my, my Instapop face, uh, my Instapop face brush. It's ba it has like a really cool little flat top. I think it's really good for pushing that foundation. So before I even go in, I'm gonna take my setting spray and I'm gonna spray my brush with it. And really, I feel like this is like setting your face in layers. So now I'm just gonna go in and blend everything. All right, so next I'm about to put on concealer. All right, so now I have my concealer everywhere I want it to be. So now I'm just gonna blend all of this out. I'm going in with a damp beauty blender and I'm going to set my face. And just so y'all know, I'm setting everywhere I put concealer with the Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. So this is kind of like how I set and I also set my nose. To me, this right here is one of the most important parts. Like this is what's going to get your foundation to be like... Like this is really just sucking it all up. This is what's gonna mattify the face. Okay, so I feel like this has baked long enough and now I'm just gonna take this buffing brush and I'm gonna dust it all off. All right, so once you dust it all off, I'm gonna finish adding the finishing touches to my face. I'm gonna show y'all what I use as setting spray. Just how I finish everything off. All right. All right. So after I'm done, y'all, this is going to be the finished product. So after I'm done, there are two types of setting sprays that I would use and when I would use them would depend on the occasion. So for my heavy, heavy duty, real heavy duty 
setting spray. It's the Den Nye Final Seal Matte Makeup Setting Spray. How it looks. Okay, I got the little mini bottle. I love this setting spray. If I'ma be out from like, I mean morning till night, this is what I would use. This is heavy duty. This is a heavy hit up right here, okay? Um, but I would not suggest this as like your everyday, all the time makeup setting spray because it is alcohol based. So one of the first ingredients is alcohol to dry your skin really, really quickly. So I wouldn't use this all the, all the, all the time. But if I'm not going heavy duty, I'm just doing everyday makeup. The other, the other product I would use is the morphe continuous setting spray today i'm gonna use the morphe because i'm not really going to work <laughs> i'm gonna go in with the morphe continuous setting spray and set my face all over i'll shake it a little bit have it a good amount away from my face but not too far away but not too close either okay then i'm gonna go ahead and say okay some people say i overdo it with the setting spray but um I think I'd be doing a good job. Now I'm just fanning it. Now this is the finished look. That is my full how to make your makeup last all day routine. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below any video you would want to see me do next. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press the bell so you're notified every single time. And yes, I mean every single time. I post a new video. If you do this, uh, do your makeup to make it last longer, comment down below and let me know how it worked out for you. Did it work for you? Did it not work for you? Um, yeah, I just wanna know, I'm curious. I will catch y'all in the next video. Until next time, keep it cute.